Today's Monday, November 23rd, and I was getting a check engine light in the last week. It came on once, and I reset it, and it ended up coming on again, so I went to AutoZone to see what the code was, and it was P0128, which was saying the engine was not getting up to normal operating temperature. So it wasn't misfiring or anything, the coolant level was good, so it said it could be a faulty thermostat or a faulty sensor. So I am going to replace the thermostat today. Well I kinda decided to make this video after I already started a little working on this. But the first thing you do, the car has to be cold of course, <clears throat> is take off the radiator cap and just siphon out about a gallon of it. <clears throat> but make sure you, your siphon's clean and the, what you're putting it into is clean if you're gonna just put the stuff back in. And then after that, just take off your oil cap and the top comes off. They're diff little, pretty much just like that. Some I have different, they're differently mounted. The way the engines are mounted, but same idea. Then after that, most of them, the thermostat is actually under there. Uh, it should be two 10 millimeter screws, I already took those off. So like I said, I already started doing this. But it's pretty easy, you just take those two off and then jiggle this a little and it comes off. And then the thermostat is in there. Now, that's what it looks like. And then... The new one looks like that. Uh, that looks a little jacked up there. So that's probably the problem. And so let's see what that looks like. Let's take that out. You might need pliers if it's a little stuck. But to me, it doesn't look too good. I don't know if it was put in by some idiot or if it just got like that, but that looked, it's not even, it wasn't even centered in there. I already took it out, but it, that's pretty much how it looked when I originally got it. I don't know when I originally took it out. I don't know why it's like that, but that's probably the problem because that looks jacked up. Other than that, it looks fine in there. But what the thermostat does is when your engine's cold, it keeps the antifreeze from going to the radiator because it needs to heat up all the main parts of the engine and the, so it can put the right fuel mixture and stuff and so it will run more efficient because if it's cold the fuel doesn't burn as good <clears throat> and if that's if that's getting if it's not warm enough your engine isn't warm enough it's not gonna the computer won't mix the right fuel and you could be getting too rich of a mixture could be making your oil dirtier faster so it's real easy to, to do on that just make sure you get any bad crud off of there where the new one's gonna go and that same thing on the other side so you get a good seal like that I gotta get some of that off but other than that not too big a deal. All right, I used uh, some fine sandpaper and made that, got off that stuff so it's smooth. Now what you can do, to help get, this is when you put it in, you're gonna have to get the air out. What you can do is add some coolant now and you'll see it start going up to just about up to there. So then when you put the thermostat in you won't have to you won't have as much air that you gotta worry about getting rid of. You can see the levels going up, so as you're adding it in slowly, you keep an eye on that. Because you don't wanna overfill it and make a mess. See it's filling. Whoop. The light's moving there. But there, that's good. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the thermostat in. 
when you put the ring on the thermostat make sure it's you can see it's angled kind of like that like a cork make sure you put it on the right way and that the, all the edges are there's nothing pinched make sure it's all nicely fit over because like I said there's a groove in the middle of this for the flat part of the thermostat to go neatly in so now I'm going to go put that in goes in pretty easy so make sure you got it in good and it's it's pretty much flush with the uh, with the metal part uh, that's holding it there okay now make sure both surfaces are clean and smooth and then you just go ahead and let's put that over there and then put the two bolts in alright those are on finger tight now alternate tightening them down so they're even and then just tighten them to about what they were when you took them off they're kind of tight they're not super tight they didn't need an extension on the ratchet to get them off or anything so That's probably good. And now just add what you can to that so it doesn't overflow. Alright, now pretty much you gotta let it run for about probably 10-15 minutes. And you can see I added it full and now as soon as I started it, the antifreeze went down, so you can keep adding to that. Try to get rid of as most bubbles as you can. Normally those should all come out before it starts overflowing anyway. Now what you can do is rev the engine a little. You have the cap on, make sure you put it down all as high as it can go. Press down and turn. And then... Now you can rev the engine a little bit. And then you'll see, do that, and then when you let go of bubbles, will, the rest of the bubbles will come out. You can see bubbles, the rest of them are going out. Alright, I think we got pretty much all of them out. So now my engine's staying around 200, which is good. So like I said, normally it would be in between the, those two, right before the 200 and that one, it'd stay in between there. So just fill that just above full hot, and that's it. No leaking around there or anything, so that's good. Looks like we're done. Putting a thermostat in, pretty easy. Okay, so now time to restart the car. I just turn it off. Let's see if the check engine light stays on or if it finally goes away. Alright, so it looks like that's it. So if you have a P0128 code, most likely that's what it is. is uh, thermostat. And like I said, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that. That's not right.